each month I try to help Home Assistant community and also Home Assistant developers by doing certain tasks. And no, here I'm not talking about creating videos. I do sincerely hope that those videos also help the community. Here I'm not talking about programming. I'm here talking about tasks that any one of you can do. Today we'll be looking at three ways on how you can help Home Assistant community get better. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Home Assistant is really, really big project. One of the biggest on the GitHub, if I'm not mistaken. Each month there are tons and tons of new issues, both opened and also closed. At the time of the recording, there were 2,206 open issues and 49,090 closed issues. Besides that, we also have pull requests. These are parts of the code that the people contributing to Home Assistant to either add or improve on the functionality. But no, as I said, we will not be talking about programming here. I really wish that I had knowledge of Python and that I can contribute on it, but I am really not good at programming, especially not Python. But still there are ways on how you and also me can help Home Assistant get better. And today we are going to look at three of them. While no programming skills is necessary for that, Yes, it can take some of your time. But let's start with the simplest one, and that one is the microwake word. If you have been following Home Assistant lately, you know that now we have capability of using microwake word. Microwake word is better because it is processed directly on the ESP board. So it doesn't need to listen for your voice, send it to Home Assistant for processing, see if that's wake word or not, then get back to ESP board. No, this is all processed on the ESP board itself and it shortens and improves on the wake up for the Home Assistant Assist. But yes, there are a lot of people in this world, there are a lot of dialects, there are a lot of languages, and that's why we need to improve the wake word. Because of that, there is a one new page that was created just a couple of weeks ago that can help improve the quality of the local wake words. For now, you can train only on one wake word, but in future there will be multiple. So let's get started with that. This site is created in such a way that it will work on your PC, but also on your mobile phone. It may be even better to have it working on your mobile phone, but for the purpose of this video, I will be doing it in a browser on my PC. When you open the link, you will see this wake word collective information that will tell you why this is used and how it will benefit both you and other users in future. Select the link, help record samples of OK Nabu. You have to tick the box to agree with wake word collective terms. And the last thing you need to do is type in your native language. For example, for me, this is Croatian. When we click on start recording, it will tell us to say word OK Nabu. OK Nabu. OK Nabu. OK Nabu. OK Nabu and click on I'm finished. And that's it. Now this recording will be processed by the team and it will be embedded in the larger model. That will help improve the OK Nabu wake word so that it works with more accents, dialects, etc. etc. Next thing that you can do to contribute to Home Assistant is translation. For that, once again, you do not need to be programmer. I've been doing it for the past couple of months for Croatian language and while it may be seem, it does take some time. I think I spent more than 20-30 hours to get the UI translated to Croatian language. In terms of backend, I've given up. But I really do hope that somebody else in Croatia will pick that up and continue translation with the background services also. So what you need to do? I will be posting a link down in the video description where you can read more about contributing on the translation and when you've read everything, you need to click one of those links. Join front-end translation team, back-end translation team, iOS translation team and or Android translation team. So far, I have joined both front-end and back-end translation teams. So if you click on a link like this, in my case, it will open the translation page, but if you haven't previously used Localize, it will tell you to create account or to log in into account if you already have one. And how do you translate? For example, I will be doing translation of the Croatian language. I will click on this number here, 142 or 142. These are the words that are still not translated to the Croatian language. And it will open a screen with the list of all non-translated words, sentences, phrases, etc. 
and you just go through the list. For example, result, resultat. There are some words that are in green. These are placeholders. That means that this word is actually not translated here, but the original translation is somewhere else. If the word was previously translated, you click on the name here, click on insert source, save, you will see the result of the translation. If, for example, that word or phrase doesn't exist, you can then pop up into new window, translate that word or phrase, and then link it up with this one here. The good thing about this tool is that you also have suggestions. Suggestions such as previous translations, AI translations, but also Google and Microsoft Translate. And you can then match, for example, Google or Microsoft Translation with the original wording, add badge, dodajte značku, and click save. Or you do not have to click save, you can just click on new word and it will automatically save the previous word. There are also parts of the code inside translation, for example, type, type, string, label. These are the parts that you do not translate. Let's look at, for example, this one here, select label. If we click on it, we can either select it from the Google Translate or Microsoft Translate translations, or we can click on insert code and replace the word, the original word, select, with the local language word, in this case, odaberite. And we leave the label. The label will be, when the UI is compiled and pushed into Home Assistant, replaced with the part of the code, for example, select lights, if you have label called lights, or select alarm, if you have label called alarm. Click on save. As I said, this is the front end, this one here. If you have also joined the backend community, it would look like this. Unfortunately for the Croatian language, we still have 102,464 words to translate but the process is actually still the same. But you do not need to translate everything. You can just translate parts of the code, or you can translate parts of the code that are interesting for you. For example, if you are using Reolink cameras, in the search bar, type colon, Reolink, and then it will only, well, there are still a lot, list the entities or parts of the code that need translation that are related to the Reolink integration. Same can be done, for example, for the light, etc, etc. And the third option? Of course, the third option is not last on how you can help Home Assistant community. You can still go to the community forums, Discord servers, and help people there. But in third way you can help improve Home Assistant is by helping with the integrations. And no, once again, the coding is not necessary. For example, let's type SwitchBot. It will give us two SwitchBot integrations. We have SwitchBot Bluetooth and SwitchBot Cloud. Let's look at SwitchBot Bluetooth. What can you do here? We said no programming. And no, actually, no programming is needed. Again, just your time and a bit of eyesight. You need to check the documentation, read through it, see if there are any typos, check if anything is missing, think of how the documentation looks, maybe something is not well explained, look at it, and at the end of the integrations page, you have option that is called help us improve our documentation. Here you can edit the page, provide feedback, but before you do any of that, check what other people are saying by clicking view pending feedback. If there is any feedback for that specific component or integration, it will be visible here. We can see that there is one open and 29 closed. One open is SwitchBot blind tilt template example gives error, which is a bad thing. And that means that if you copy this code here, it doesn't work with Home Assistant. So if you are using any of the integrations here, you can check the documentation and see if there is anything wrong, or maybe if you have suggestion on how you can improve that. For example, add an extra example if you had code, give a better explanation if you think of one, etc, etc. So as I said, no programming is needed, but still you can help Home Assistant community and also take off some of the work from the Home Assistant developers. And everybody will benefit. If you are translating to your local language, even you, if you are using your local language in Home Assistant, will have better and more efficient UI. Also, you can help with the micro wake words. And last but not least, you can also help with the documentation for Home Assistant. That means that there are ways for each and every one of us to give back something to the community. I really do hope that some of the things that I've shown you will be interesting to you and that you will be able to help out the community. And if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, while you are already there, check that you are subscribed. If not, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss on the future videos and, of course, my streams. 
if you have any kind of a comment or question in regard to any of the topics I covered today in the video, or maybe you have idea for future videos, don't forget to drop it down in the comment section below. And before I end up the video, I would like to say thanks to all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, liked, shared or commented on my videos. Thank you. If you want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below and becoming a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month. Or you can go to my merchandise store and get something there. Last but not least, as always, you can send me super thanks and I will be super thankful for that. I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.